Hi, so today I am making cheesecake stuffed apples. So I thought this just sounds so delicious, perfect this time of year. I have someone coming over who can't handle chocolate. Chocolate's usually my go-to, so why not apples? So the first thing I'm gonna do, there's three stages. I'm going to bake the apples, I'm going to make a cream cheese, and then I'm going to make the topping to go on top, which would be, I guess, kind of like maybe the crust from a cheesecake. I don't know. Anyway, so I have three apples. I'm making enough for six people. Each person will have half an apple. I'm going to cut the apple in half. And then I'm going to use a melon baller, but you could use a knife or a spoon. And I'm going to scoop out the inside. Definitely get the seeds out. Don't want them. Uh oh, I don't know where those went. But then I want a little bit bigger hole because I want more cheesecake than what will fit in there, right? We want lots of filling. So I'm gonna scoop out a little bit more. And I'm actually gonna save this for my breakfast. This can go into my smoothie bowl. So don't waste it. That's delicious apple, high in pectin to help remove any toxins and build up some fiber. So you can see about how big the hole is there. I am a left probably a half an inch all the way around. You definitely don't want to go all the way through it. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest of them. Mm. Okay, so I'm using Granny Smith's. So they're a little bit more bitter. There's a lot of nutrition in a Granny Smith. They hold up better when you bake, but you can use whatever apple you're gonna eat. So I have my six halves here. I'm going to cut a lemon in half. And apples turn brown, right, when they sit out. So when I bake them, they're gonna turn brown too. So what I'm going to do is add some vitamin C, which is an antioxidant, to help prevent the rusting. So I'm going to just gently press this lemon over my cut apple. I don't want a lot. And then I'm gonna place them cut side down on the baking, on parchment paper here. I have mine in a baking dish because a lot of times it'll release a lot of water, um, but you could just use a regular pan. Running out of juice here. And it might not keep it completely from turning brown, but it will help. Okay, so now, Here are my apples, cut side down. I'm gonna set them in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, while the apples are cooking, I'm going to make the cheesecake. Okay, now I'm gonna make the cheesecake filling while the apples are cooking. So in my blender, I'm going to add one cup of cashews that I had soaking. See, I just strained and rinsed them. I'm going to add about a half a cup of dairy-free milk. This is almost a cup because I may need to add a little bit more. So I'm gonna add half of that. You don't have to be accurate. And I'm going to add two dates because I want it to be sweetened and dates are gonna add fiber as well as minerals. So I have half a cup of dairy-free milk, two dates, and one cup of soaked cashews. Now I'm going to blend it until it's nice and creamy. Okay, so I could have used water, but I want it to be a little bit creamier, more like a cheesecake. Um, some people do add coconut milk um, because that will harden in the refrigerator, get a little bit harder. Um, but I have someone in my family who doesn't like coconut, so I'm leaving the coconut out. So let's see how thick it is. It's nice and thick. If I make it a little bit thinner, it might not be cheesecake consistency. So I'm gonna leave it nice and thick. So I'm gonna leave it at half a cup of milk. Okay, so now that it's the right texture, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla, about a half a teaspoon, and the juice of the other half of our lemon. That doesn't give it the tangy flavor that you have in cheesecake. Okay. 
And I'm just gonna give it one quick little blitz to combine. Okay, my food processor is ready right here. Um, now I could make a topping like a caramel sauce because that goes on cheesecake, right? So I could just blend dates with a little bit of milk until it's a sauce and drizzle that on top. That sounds delicious. I kind of wish I had thought of that earlier. Instead, I'm going to put in a half a cup of dates. These are just your regular store-bought, I think you call them neglet dates. I'm going to add one cup of gluten-free organic oats. You could leave those out if you want, if you don't like oats or oats cause blood sugar issues for you. They are high in beta glucans, which is very uh, helpful for the GI tract. I like it for a healthy microbiome. And then I'm going to add one cup of nuts. I like to combine walnuts and um, pecan nuts. All right, so walnuts are high in omega-3s, which are anti-inflammatory. Pecans are in omega-6. They do have some omega-3. I love them both, so I'm putting them both in there. And I'm going to pulse until it's nice and crumbly. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla, about a half a teaspoon of vanilla to my topping. You could add other flavorings as well. I just like vanilla. Okay, smells delicious. Now we just need to wait for the apples to be ready. Okay, I took them out of the oven. Some of the juices have been released. They're not wrinkly, but as they cool, they may get a little bit wrinkly, which is why I only did 20 minutes. I still want them to be a little bit firm and to hold their shape. So I'm gonna let them cool and then we'll fill them. Okay, now we are ready to fill our baked apples. They are nice and cool. You can see they did not turn brown. They're not as green, they're kind of brownish color on the back, but I'm just going to lay them on my plate here, cut side up. Arrange them there, move my dish out of the way and move this so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I have my blender with my cashew cream. So this was cashews, dairy, non-dairy milk, um, half of a lemon, a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I have a spoon here somewhere. Well, we'll use this one. All right, so I'm just gonna fill each cavity with our cashew cream. Now, if you eat a raw vegan diet, you could have just cut the apples and then set them in the dehydrator until they softened. And then the rest is raw. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. Okay, so now I can drizzle on that caramel sauce that I should have thought of before. Um, or, my topping here this is more like a granola topping i'm going to use a tablespoon this says our dates and nuts and oats i'm going to sprinkle it on top it's the crust from our cheesecake sweetened with dates Let's see if i can stand that one up a little bit more Any extras I can save to eat on my breakfast, on my smoothie bowl. There we go. And you can't have baked apples without cinnamon, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top of each one. There we go. Here is our cheesecake stuffed apples. Don't they look delicious? I can't wait to eat them tonight. Anyway, if you like this recipe, please let me know. Please comment. Let me know what else you would like to learn or see. Um, I love to share with you. So anything that you would like for me to share, food related, any nutrition related, I love to share. Comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and enjoy.